Fashion is subjective. Everybody's personal style is just a little bit different, but there are some things that we could all agree on just look terrible. So here is everything that I will never wear again. The first thing are slim fit hoodies. Now I love slim fit clothes. It looks really good on almost everything. More specifically, they do not look good on hoodies. Ever since the trend of oversized and boxy fit hoodies, I truly think that there is no chance that I'm going back to slim fit hoodies. The oversized ones just look better. They're easier to wear and 100% more comfortable. And I hate calling this a trend because now this is pretty much the new standard for hoodies and i honestly haven't really seen too many slim fit hoodies since 2018 to 2019 but i really hope that we keep this behind and that's easy to say right now because everybody's wearing the boxy fit hoodies and every single brand is releasing their hoodies to look exactly like this but i get it times change which is exactly why i was always iffy to make videos like this because a lot of times most people fashion mistakes were just a trend that was popular back then that no longer looks good and a prime example of that are curved hem t-shirts this is another piece that i think i could probably never wear again this one was more popular in 2017 or 2018 but i have to say this is something that i still see people wear and there's some brands that are still selling these <laughs> and my god i hope if you're watching this video you never buy one of these. There is nothing flattering about a shirt like this. There is no reason why a t-shirt should have this type of hem. Now, I especially hate it because I am a shorter guy. And so shirts like this do make me look shorter. And therefore, that's the main reason why I would never wear this. But just in general, they don't look good. It makes your proportions look terrible. It makes your torso look way too long and weird. So again, I never like to tell you what to wear and especially tell you what not to wear. I'm pretty sure we could all agree that these don't look good. So if you have some still in your closet, get rid of them. I'm not saying that you have to go cropped, although I do like that. At very least, a regular fit shirt with a normal hem is going to make you look so much better. The third item that pretty much ruined my style was distressed clothing. Now, of course, when we think of this, we think of one person, Kanye West. He pretty much made this popular. And there are some things that I could proudly say that I have never worn. Things like biker jeans, things like distressed t-shirts. To me, they just never looked good. But distressed jeans is something that I do see from time to time. And I have worn it just because I thought, let me switch it up. But as of today, I can confidently say that moving forward especially now that i got my own place and i brought over only the items that i really like for my wardrobe there's not a single piece of distressed clothing behind me now i will say my personal style obviously leans a little bit more mature i wouldn't say dapper but definitely leaning towards that so in my opinion distressed clothing more specifically distressed jeans just doesn't really make sense for my kind of style sometimes in streetwear slight distressing on the jeans can look cool but yeah this one is still a little bit more on the fence this is obviously something you could wear just like anything else wear whatever you like me personally I think this is going to ruin my style and therefore it's something that I can confidently say I will not be wearing again. And that being said, I obviously got to say this entire video is my personal opinion. You can hate it. You can disagree with me. I don't care. In the same way that you shouldn't care if I say that I'm not going to be wearing something that you like. The first line in this video was that fashion is subjective. Wear whatever you like and buy the clothes that makes you feel comfortable. That being said, the main piece of clothing that I 100% regret buying are designer clothes. These just look way too tacky. It makes you look like you're trying too hard for attention. Not only is it my biggest regret, but I will probably never buy a piece of designer clothing that its only designer purpose is a logo or branding. Now designer clothing in itself, is kind of controversial. Some people like them, some people don't. If I were to buy any expensive designer clothing, it's probably a reputable brand that has high quality clothes and it's definitely more than just the logo. But when I was 18 and I started making a little bit of money, I wanted to buy something that was expensive for attention, make people think that I was cool or rich or whatever the case was so i bought a shirt from burberry i bought a shirt from prada and these are just ridiculous not only could this money have bought me so many better things i can make such a long video about things that are way better for the money in fact i have so many videos about affordable clothing but that's besides the point it's a huge waste of money it doesn't look good and no one's gonna take you serious again 80 percent of people who buy these clothes are only buying it so they can look expensive or make people think they're cool as much as people don't admit it that's what it's there for but it's funny because now more than ever everybody knows that most of these heavy branding and heavy logos are just not worth the money and most people who buy it either have no taste or are just stupid with money all right something else that i probably will never wear again is gym clothing outside of the gym now i get it some brands like young la or gymshark have specific clothes for outside the gym but that's not what i'm talking about i'm not saying the brands i'm saying items specifically for the gym belong in the gym and i see way too many gym bros out there who wear their dark sport shirts who wear their oversized gym shark clothing outside of the gym in my opinion it just doesn't look good now graphic t-shirts in itself that's up to you if you want to wear it or not i personally really don't wear this all too much anymore but if i were to wear it it would only be in the gym now i know this one might not seem like a big deal but trust me if you want to be taken a little bit more serious if you want to be known as that person who looks good or knows how to dress keep your gym clothes in the gym and keep your outside clothes where they belong the next thing that's going to ruin your style is wearing the wrong fabric 
fabric at the wrong time. And this is for multiple different reasons, but let's just say right now you were excited because the fall is here. However, not every single fall day is that perfect fall weather. So if you wear a sweater outside, sometimes it's just too hot. Wearing something like wool on a day that's just too hot, it's gonna make you be drowning in sweat. It's gonna ruin your appearance. You're just not gonna look good. Therefore, it's always so important to look at the weather app to see if the material that you're wearing or just in general, the entire outfit is good for the day and for what you're planning to do. It's the same thing with linen. I love linen clothes, but if it's too cold, that's probably one of the worst things that you could wear. I love hoodies, but if it's too warm outside, Again, you're gonna be drowning in sweat and you're just not gonna look good. And this is coming from a person who sweats very easily. In fact, I think I'm sweating a little bit right now. So I always have to make sure that I'm wearing the right clothing because it is very easy for me to sweat. And once that starts to get going, I know I'm not gonna be looking my best. A huge fashion mistake that I used to make is buying items in the wrong size or just clothes that do not fit my body style. Now, of course, this one is just all dependent on you. But for me, I bought a few items that were in the size large because I thought it would fit my shoulders better but they were just way too long and therefore it made me look shorter. It didn't fit for my body and it just made my outfits look a little bit off and that little bit can really make the difference on whether or not you're dressing well. So if you have clothes that are just too big, if you can exchange them, the better. If you still wanna wear these clothes, just take it to a tailor. It's not as expensive as you think. And that's something that I need to start doing more of. But of course, the best way to do this is prevention. Don't buy items from the store because that's the only size they have left and you really want that item. Trust me, you could wait, buy it online to see if it has your right size. Or again, if it comes and it doesn't fit you as well as you liked, exchange it or take it to a tailor. This is just one of those things that can make the slightest difference, but in all honesty, make you one of the best dressed people in your area. The next item that's gonna ruin your style are clothes that are just too dirty. I think the biggest example is something like shoes. I've never been the kind of person to buy a new pair of shoes in the exact same color and model. If you truly like a pair of shoes, for one, you could clean it, but sometimes they're just a little bit too cooked. And at that point, it might just be easier and it might just be a lot better for you if you just buy the same exact pair of shoes brand new that you know you already love you're gonna wear a ton and it's just gonna look so much better because they're clean sometimes your shoes just get way too cooked they lose its form they lose its shape and therefore even if you clean it it's just non-recoverable and again i've held on to too many shoes that were just too cooked in my head i knew how good they looked when they were clean and i thought it still gave the same effect trust me it didn't because they were just way too dirty it just didn't look good that's totally okay you could swap it for another pair of shoes it might just look better with the outfit point is don't get so sentimental with your clothes and items these are just materialistic items they serve no real meaning and therefore toss it out when you need to buy a new one or just replace it with something that could look better especially that part if you just replace it with something that could potentially look better it's an easy way to improve your outfits and always be constantly improving with your style the next thing that personally has ruined my style so many times is trends that don't fit me. Now this one is definitely difficult because it's not always obvious when something fits you or not. But but I will say I'm coming to terms the streetwear isn't really my thing. Maybe there's some items that look good, but despite how many people online I see look really good with baggy jeans, with carpenter jeans, with those football jerseys, it's just not me. It doesn't suit me and therefore, even if I do look semi good with it, I don't feel like me when I wear it. I'm not as confident as I would be if I wore something else that I actually enjoy. But not only is it ruining my style, but it's also ruining my confidence. I'm always down to experiment with new things, but now I'm getting better at realizing what actually works for me, what suits me, and what do I wanna continue wearing? Look, I have so many trends on my radar that I'm definitely gonna be wearing, or at least definitely gonna be trying, and I'm not gonna like all of them, and that's totally okay. Fashion trends are not the key to dressing better, and that's something that I wish I knew when I was younger. When I was younger, all I wanted to do was dress how other people were dressing because I wanted to fit in, I wanted validation, but that's not the way to go about it. And the next thing you have to watch out for are clothes that lost its structure. This is pretty much what I was talking about earlier, but just because something looked good in the past doesn't mean it still looks good now because sometimes clothing just loses structure, especially cheaper clothes. I'm not gonna be naming too many brands, but we all have a few brands that pop into mind that know after a few washes, maybe after some time, it just doesn't look how it used to look because it lost its structure or literally for whatever reason. Again, it's just too cooked. Great way, experiment with new items, try new things, and always be improving in your style. Now, I like to do this with brands. In fact, just recently, I went to Uniqlo to buy 10 new items. And if you wanna see that video, I have it linked right here.